Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to create and push docker image to ECR and then deploy it to ECS. Okay, so basically we will be creating a docker image with the help of the docker file. Okay, and then store this docker image into our ECR that is elastic container registry and then deploy this particular stored image to our ECS that is elastic container service okay so let's get started with this so now you can see that this is my github repository wherein I have got a project and I have also created a docker file with this okay so now what I'll do is I'll go to this particular EC2 instance and you can use any of the systems that you want to I have used EC2 for my convenience okay so what I'll do is I'll first go and clone this particular repository Now we can see that our repository is cloned and now I'll go into this particular folder that got created on cloning. Right. So now you can see that this is the docker file with the help of which we'll be creating our docker image. Okay. So now what the foremost thing that I'll be doing is I'll be going to this particular elastic container registry dashboard and in here I will be creating a repository so I'll be naming this as my node.js app okay so or I would say my web app okay so now I will be enabling the scan on push option and also the encryption as well so I will be creating the repository now we can see that my repository got created now I want to view the push commands that are required to push our particular image okay so before actually building the image you first need to create your repository okay now first of all I will be retrieving an authentication token and authenticating my docker client okay so first for this authentication purpose what I need to do is I first need to log in to my ECR okay so for that you first need to configure your AWS CLI okay on your system I have already configured it okay so how I can do that I can directly go to AWS I can type this particular AWS configure I'll run this command and over here you can see that I have already configured one okay so if you haven't what you can do is you can just go and paste your access key IDs as well as secret key IDs I'll ju I'm just uh, doing this repeated stage for you to understand it okay and okay so I will be keeping it as US East 1 and output format none so now I have configured my AWS CLI now with this particular command we will be able to log in to our ECR okay so I will be pasting this particular command right here and we can see that we are successfully logged in into our ECR okay so now what I'll do is I'll be building my particular image with the help of this command okay so for building I will be making use of the same name of the image as that of my ECR okay so I'll be doing this so 
so now we can see that our image got created we can see this with the help of docker images now you can see that my web app image has been created right so once my image is created what i'll do is i'll just add a tag over here okay so docker just i'll be pasting it so with this command i will be adding a tag to this particular image of mine and it should be similar to that of my repository okay so now we are done creating the tag also now we'll be pushing a docker image into the repository so let's try to push this so let's go to our registry close this and here we are now you can see that this image got successfully stored in our elastic container registry okay so now we are done with this now we'll go to our ecs wherein we want to dis deploy this particular image onto our ecs So first of all we are here to create a cluster okay so first i'll be creating a cluster i will be making use of ec2 linux plus networking and within this i'll be mentioning the name as ecs cluster okay provisioning model i'll keep it as on demand instance for the ec2 instance type i'll be making use of t2.micro okay and the number of instances right here i'll be keeping it as one only and yeah so for the key pair i'll be making use of an ecs service for the vpc again i'll be making use of a default vpc for the subnets i'll be making use of three of my subnets out here okay and then after that i'll be enabling this auto assign public ip and i'll be creating a new security group with a port range of 3000 why because i'll let you know in the next stage okay so, and then after this i'll be using this particular iam rule that is ecs instance rule and i'll also enable the container insights okay so i'll be creating okay there is one error out here okay and we just give it the name as ecs cluster 2 and create now we can see that the cluster has been created the role is also created now my cloud formation stack is in ending state it will also get created So now we can see that everything got created and will be viewing this particular cluster. Okay? So now we want to run the tasks right here. Okay? So for running the tasks we must first define the tasks, right? So for that we require task definition. So what I'll do is I'll be creating a task definition right here and I will be selecting EC2 of course. and for the task definition name i'll be giving it as my web app only okay and the task role i'll be using this ecs task execution role and the network mode i'll be keeping it as default 
task execution role i won't be using any of those right here so for the task memory i will be making use of 100 megabytes and over here i'll be making use of one vcpu sorry yeah so now we are done with this so i'll be adding a container right here wherein i'll be mentioning my web app as the name of my container and the image so over here what i'll be doing is i'll be making use of the uri of my stored image and paste that particular uri over here okay so we are done with this and in this post port i'll be making use of this particular um port as my host port over here i'm making use of static port mapping okay there is no dynamic stuff out here and my container port is of course 3000 okay and the rest of the things i won't be mentioning any of them right here and add so now we are ready with this and we'll go and create the cluster for us okay so now sorry not the cluster but the task definition right here okay so we are done creating a task definition now we'll again go to the cluster and within that particular cluster we are going to create a service that will run that particular task okay so what i'll do is i'll be going and creating a service the launch type will be of type ec2 the rest of the things got automatically inputted over here and for the service name i'll be mentioning it as ecs service service type will be replica the number of tasks that i want to run is one and minimum healthy percent i'll be keeping it to be zero and the rest of the things i'll be keeping it as it is and i won't be making use of load balancer as of now and next step and now we can see that this is the review page out here and create service so now over here we can see that my service got created and we would love to view this particular service right here now you can see that the task is in the pending state right here and now it's running okay so what we'll do is we'll try to access this particular web app okay from our ec2 instance so i'll just kind of try to refresh it right here and we can see this instance over here right so now what we can do is we'll first try to check the inbound rules right here so it is open at 3000 but it should be open at 4200 right so for that what i'll do is i'll go to this particular security group and i'll be adding the inbound rules for 4200 okay from anywhere of course and save rules okay so i'll go back to my ec2 okay and now what i'll do is i'll try to access this particular container running over here now you can see that it shows hey guys welcome to my new express application which means that our image got successfully deployed to our ecs cluster so in this way we created an image and then pushed it to ecr for storing purpose and then deployed it to our ecs 
So hope you found the video helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful. Also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you so much and have a nice day.